Welcome to the Wicked Banger. In today's video we are going to talk about the Battletron mechanical keyboard. Or in other words, it's just a cheap mechanical keyboard. Uh, what are we going to get? But before we're going any further with the review, I just want to do a quick point out that I also have a Dutch channel. So are you from the Netherlands or Belgium, for example? I also have a Dutch channel, so if you want to see the review in the Dutch language, that is also possible. I'll leave a link over here. But if you're fine with English, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and let's talk about the mechanical keyboard from Battletron. Alright, so let's open it up and let's see what we're going to get and let's do this unboxing together. First thing that I'm noticing with the device is that it's quite heavy for a mechanical keyboard. It's of course a little bit obvious, but at the end it depends how many metal parts they are going to give you. Here we have the little tool if you want to, let's say, remove a key. If you want to clean it up we have the manual with some basic explanation how the keyboard works all right i just want to point out i will leave all the commandos in the comment section so you know how the keyboard works if it comes to the rgb light up feature because there are a lot of things you can adjust i'm going to show you here a couple of these options in the video but not all of them all right so let's talk about the keyboard itself it's always quite heavy and that is something i really like about it Right, so at the back we are going to find a little sticker. We're having the rubbery feet, so it's not sliding on your desk. We're having here two little feet. That feels quite sturdy. Still a little bit cheapo, but a little bit better than the previous model of keyboards I've reviewed. And 1.5 meter woven cable. It's also in red if you want to, but you need to ask in the store itself or order the right color. So this tool you need always keep it close because you need it sometimes for just simply removing a key. They are using the blue switches. What I really like about the blue switches, it's got a very nice touch and they don't make a lot of noise. Don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of noise compared with the membrane keyboard, but it's a little bit silencer. silence. As you can see over here, if you need to remove the key, you can, if you can reach it very easy, you, can, you don't need the tool, of course, but it's just convenient. All right, so let's do the sound test. Mmm, that is what we call pure satisfaction. Mechanical keyboard. And I think you want to see how is the light up feature of the device. As you can see it is very nice putting on my desk because of the rubbery feet. Every time when you're booting up the system this is what you're going to get with the keyboard. Mmm, like a freaking Christmas tree. I love it. And as you can see it looks very cool in the dark. Yeah, in Christmas tree, and not even Christmas. All right, as you can see over here, you can adjust the brightness if you don't like it very bright, or you just want to have a mechanical keyboard without the light up feature. You can all adjust it, and what you can do when you are choosing a different option. But it's also awesome because you can just adjust the speed, as you can see over here. The fade in fade out can be a little bit slower, a little bit faster. So even this you can adjust. But nevertheless there are a lot of different options if it comes to the RGB light up feature. So and that's pretty cool. Again I will leave a link or a link in the description of how it exactly works because there are a lot of different features. Alright, so let's play a little bit with the keyboard because this is of course the reason why we buy a gaming keyboard to play video games. And the first thing that I'm noticing is that the travel of the button is very nice. And it is of course something you need to get used to even if you just want to type some letters with word and you want to use this keyboard. But at the end it feels quite nice. It doesn't help my gameplay because I play this game many times but now I didn't play it for let's say a year or so. Nevertheless, I really like the touch 
of the buttons and when playing. The box says it does have anti-ghosting, so in other words you can use multiple buttons. But at the end, if you're searching for a cheap way to have a mechanical keyboard, I think this thing is pretty cool. It has a lot of great features, it has all the things you can expect from a cheap keyboard and even more. Because you're paying around 25 euro for a mechanical keyboard. If you go to the store here and I want to have, an, let's say, a familiar brand, at least I need to spend, let's say, 100 up to 150 euro for a keyboard. And the comparison, I think, if you compare it with a high quality keyboard, there will be some differences, but again, here it comes, what I'm always saying, for the money people, we just can't complain. Alright, so that concludes this video and I want to thank you for watching, it's just awesome that you tuned in. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I hope in the next Battletron uh, they will give you this wrist palm um, support. I really like this, I'm just missing it out with this keyboard. That's the only thing I can complain of and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell because you get the message from YouTube.